and welcome back to part 7 of CNC late programming in this lesson I'd like to talk about the constant service speed that's used on a CNC lathe I'm going to introduce three new G-codes the G96 which sets the cutting speed the G97 which sets RPM and G50 which limits the RPM that your CNC will turn alright then we'll talk about the benefits of using constant service speed and I'll show you a couple of formulas to calculate RPM and service feet per minute alright so let's take a look at an example of a part that has many different diameters and how the RPM changes to maintain constant service speed alright so for this part the tool manufacturer has recommended that we use 600 service feet per minute now as you can see we have several different diameters we're starting out with a half inch and it climbs up to one inch inch and a half two inch and two and a half inch and we're actually starting with a three inch diameter stock so at each diameter you can see maintaining a 600 service feet per minute or constant service speed we would start out with an RPM of 4584 RPM at a half inch then it climbs up to an inch diameter and at that point we are at 2292 RPM then it slows down again as we climb up to inch and a half and we are at 1528 RPM and then at two inches we are at 1146 and at two and a half inches we are at 916 RPM so you can see it would be hard to determine just an RPM that would work for all of these diameters and expect good tool life and good service finish now instead of doing that just tell your machine to maintain a 600 service speed and the machine will automatically adjust for all these diameters so let's talk a little bit more about why to use constant service speed alright so the benefits of constant service speed would be that it simplifies the programming now you don't have to determine what RPM to program because you just set the constant service speed and the machine will automatically adjust the RPM depending on the diameter it's cutting so it also produces a consistent service finish because the feed rate and the constant service speed work hand in hand to produce a constant service finish alright and it also optimizes the tool life because the RPM is not too fast or too slow which would in turn increase tool life and then and lastly it optimizes the machine time because the cutting conditions will always be set properly and that translate to minimal machining time alright so let's take a look at a program and see where we put all these codes alright so here we're looking at the program of the finish pass of the part we looked at earlier and let's talk a little bit about the format here so we have made a tool change right here picking up tool 101 and then the first thing you want to do is turn on the spindle with a constant RPM using the G97 command so when you turn on the spindle at S1500 no matter what diameter the tool is at it will always spin at 1500 RPM then you wrap it into position getting ready to do your finish pass and at that point the first thing you want to do is set the G50 which is limiting the RPM now that's going to depend on the size of the part now a part this size you probably don't want to spin faster than 3000 RPM but some of the smaller parts that you will be running you could max out at 5 or 6000 RPM or whatever your lathe will allow alright so then after you limit the RPM you set your constant service speed using the G96 command with the recommended service feet that the tool is rated for alright so that is how simple it is to let the machine determine all the RPMs at all the different diameters alright so let's take a quick look at how we calculate RPM and service speed alright so the first formula I want to talk about is that for calculating RPM so we take the constant of 3.82 multiply that times the surface feet per minute and then divide it by the diameter that you're turning 
So in this example, we're going to take the 3.82, multiply that times a service feed per minute of 600 that was recommended by our tool manufacturer, and we're going to be turning a diameter of 0.750. So if we plug those numbers into the calculator, we take a 3.82, multiply times 600, and then divide it by 0.750 diameter, we get an RPM of 3056. So that's a simple one. Alright, so then there's one more and that is for surface feet per minute. So let's take a quick look at that. Alright, so to calculate the surface feet per minute, we take the RPM, we multiply it times the diameter that we're turning, and we're dividing it by the 3.82 constant. So for our example, we've got the constant of 3.82 and an RPM of 2200. And we're turning a diameter of 1 inch 750. So let's get the calculator back out and plug in those numbers. So we got the RPM of 2200. We're going to multiply that to times the diameter of a 1 inch 750. And then divide that by 3.82 equals a thousand seven service feet per minute. Alright, so these are a couple of formulas that will come in handy for calculating your feet and speeds when writing a program. Alright, so let's talk about one more thing and it is when not to use constant service speed. Alright, so there are a couple of operations where you do not want to consider constant service speed and one of them would be drilling because the RPM would max out because you are drilling at zero diameter. So even at one service feet per minute, you would max out your machine RPM. And then there is a threading. Threading requires perfect synchronization between spindle revolution and z-axis motion, so it is not capable of maintaining constant service speed. All right, so that's all I have for you on constant service speed. Uh, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.